Hey guys, what's going on? Scorpion Links here, and today, holy crap, do you see this? It's pretty amazing. <laughs> so I just built this windmill, wind turbine, gosh, I keep calling it a windmill. Windmills are different than wind turbines. Turbines generate electricity, windmills, I think they're just things you look at in Holland. I don't know, but... <laughs> um, here we have the wind turbine, the Vestas wind turbine. Real cool set. Like, now that it's built and in person, probably one of my top favorite, top 10, more like top five. This could definitely be my new, like, favorite or second favorite set. I don't know. It's kind of hard to beat Ninjago City, but... Um, I guess I'm going to be kind of just reviewing it real quickly here and showing you some features about it. So this is way too big to fit on that table right there. Um, <clears throat> so I'm just going to start with the easy stuff. So sorry, the camera is so shaky, kind of a little unprofessional here today. Um, so here's the house. This is the house that supposedly you generate the electricity for right here. When you turn that on, that is. But I'll show you that last probably because it's really awesome. Um, uh, so we got some minifigs. We got this lady here and then a dog. So, And then nice little mailbox. Uh, that's the mail. Uh, these chairs are pretty cool. I thought they were... Uh, Pretty cool designs, so just put that there. Um, the interior of the house, I suppose I can show you. Um, getting around the back here, it's kind of neat. A lot of little details here. Um, kitchen lamp. I think this is just. Oop! Already fell off. It's a cabinet of some sort. I don't think there's anything in there, if I recall. Um, oops. <laughs> Now I'm going to place it somewhere where it probably didn't go in the instructions. Time to get the craggle out. All right, and uh, here's the bed. Nice and simple. Oh, and a flower fell? Jeez. I'm, I'm destructor today, I think. Probably because the set's kind of crammed a little over here. But it's playable. Um, yeah, you guys saw the front. So now we can, I suppose, take a look at this part. It's just a hill, just made out of these big, ugly rock pieces here. Green ones, I must inform you, which is pretty rare. I mean, I don't think those are too common. I don't see them much. Um, pretty neat. And then we got a little bench. Oh, and these trees here are made out of plant plastic, which is pretty cool. So it doesn't really look or feel or smell different. <laughs> Who knows? Maybe it tastes different. <laughs> I don't know. Um, here we have the back. This is where I put one of the Vesta uh, repairmen here. Uh, I suppose I'd take a look at him. It gave him some tools because there's a bunch of extra tools in the truck, or that went into the truck. So and then this just opens and there's nothing in here. Oh my god. Nothing. It's simulated. So simulation would be that the guy goes in here. It goes up here, and eventually gets right here. So, and this is where I put the second guy. Um, hold on. Um, so, yeah, he's got some more extra tools. I just put him up here because maybe he's the one repairing the, the weathered vanes or whatever these are supposed to be. To me, they kind of seem like they could be uh, wind instruments that measure... You know, oh, the instructions do tell you a lot about this set, by the way. Uh, maybe I'll take a look at them. But, um, so we got two of those guys. Pretty cool. But up here is, in here is the battery thing that rotates, or not the battery. The battery's in here, actually. This is what we'll get to eventually. Um, this is what rotates it. So there's a wire that goes throughout the whole wind turbine here. And you turn that on and it rotates this, but I'll show you that in a minute here. I got one more thing I'm going to show you, which is this vehicle here. Um, 
It's kind of cool, actually. I like it. I like it. I think if they didn't have this, this would have been overpriced. <laughs> it still is a little overpriced, but the vehicle definitely... Like, you can you could drive this thing all around your town. You could put this in your Lego city. It's just kind of a nice branded vehicle. Um, so, it's kind of neat because they, they even did it right. They didn't put the wheel in the center like they usually do. They actually put it on the left side. But this is a European company. So, they should have put it on the right side. <laughs> I don't know. But... <clears throat> Let's take a look at the interior here. It's kind of... There's already stuff falling because it's like loose tools. Yep, the oil canister fell. This is just like a little... um, Just a thing. With a thing. And stuff fell out. Yep. I, I kind of hate how this is loose. It's kind of like... I don't know. I'm not a fan of it. But it just... All right, so I'm pretty sure you know what's next. So here's what you do. Let's just admire it for a second. Give my camera to focus. The typical issue of Scorpion Lynx. Uh, this is it. It's pretty awesome. It's pretty huge too. Like, I don't know if you see the Death Star back there. It's not too far off from what you see. Um, it, it's really tall. It's really tall. Um, but then I'll, I guess I could show you this. It lights up those lights down there, which is pretty cool. So, um, but yeah, I really like this. Definitely one of my new favorites. So, I guess I could show you the instructions. So here are the instructions. Um, so, got a lot of cool info in it um, just shows you kind of how the wind turbines work stuff like that shows you the real ones which geez can't believe I own one of those in Lego it's kind of fun to think about that uh, I haven't really read too much of this but I think I might read it later oh here's the plants from plants little thing so oh all of the plants are from plants even those little grass things huh okay uh, here's some stats, I guess, if you're into that, you might look at it later. Oh, this is kind of cool, but, yes, uh, random ad for creator Ferris wheel, or merry-go-round, geez, uh, oh yeah, and then the thing where the instructions doesn't have numbered bags to it, which is a little upsetting. So I just opened this, and what the heck? They don't even label the bags? Kind of weird. That's definitely a flaw, but kind of sucks. Look at none of these bags are labeled. And I'm looking at the instructions here. It doesn't even really show bags or anything. It just kind of says to build it. Oh well. So... Yeah, And if you guys are very curious as to where I display this, it's kind of cool. I put it behind my TV. So whenever I'm watching TV or playing games, I could just turn that on in the background. It kind of looks like it's powering my TV. I don't know. When I first saw this, I'm like, ooh, I have enough space to put it behind my TV. I might do that. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this slightly unprofessional quick video. But... This is where I put my wind turbine. So, all right, guys. Bye.